Oh, I don't know why I keep doing this, but it seems I've gone and done it again. I just watched like 40 minutes of radical feminazi propaganda videos, and oh my Jesus. Oh, what are you... Okay. Here's what I have to say. So all, this is all I've got. You know, you're all about white privilege and in specifics, white male privilege. So show me a law that a man has that a woman does not. You can't, can you? Because equality is already a thing in both the law and in most people's morals. If you go in the streets and ask somebody, uh, random people, say ask a hundred people, right, what their opinion on the word nigger is, either 100 out of 100 or 98 out of 100 very high percentage of the people will say it's a very offensive word because it is connected to racism of course there will be racists but there always have been and there always will be nothing legislation or protesting in the streets is going to stop that you think some racist in fucking the, the uh white trash ghettos of texas is going to like see one of your radical feminazi propaganda videos and just be like oh man oh my bad i'm sorry huh i had no idea no you're just gonna make them more mad and more vocal about the points they're trying to make see men and women are already equal blacks and whites are already equal in american law maybe the way laws are carried out isn't the same and police brutality and all that but you look at the uh, past majority. All right, so you know on the news, they'll never show a white guy getting shot by police. No, oh, even though it happens so much more often. But whenever there's a black guy that gets shot and killed by police, no matter the circumstances or anything, they'll just say, "Oh, another one's killed." It's just happening every day, everywhere. Oh. And it, because of the way it's portrayed, it just feels like it's everywhere. It is such a rare incident. Like, if you do a store on that every two weeks, and one's in Chicago, one's in Baltimore, one's in New York, you know, that is a very... Those are all separate incidents. It's not a, uh, just some new thing, like, oh my god, blacks are getting shot, and police are racist, and oh, Jesus. No, it's... They're all separate incidents that have nothing to do with each other. There's no rape culture there's no any of that again you know 98 out of 100 probably actually 100 out of 100 people you ask uh about how bad of a thing rape is it's they're gonna be like oh my god it's horrible you know people who have been raped you know it's a traumatic experience in their life and just not a good thing to go through. So again, you know, show me the law that, okay, show me a law that whites have that blacks don't. Show me a law that men have. Show me a law of a right that men have and women don't. And also for some reason, abortion is still some issue, but like it's already legal in like all but two states. So I don't know what y'all radical feminazis are bitching about. It's already legal. Now it's like you're just trying to get the approval of every person on the planet. I mean, of course, there's going to be some people, no matter what you do or say, that's going to think it's ethically and morally uh, wrong. But same is true with a lot of things. You know, some people think it's okay to, you know, like... listen to rock music and some people think people who listen to rock music are 
just inherently worshipping Satan, but, you know, that's a belief, and there's a lot of beliefs, but all I can say, you know, keep open-minded as you can, and let's see where we can take this world. Well, uh, I guess that's all, folks. 